Okay, and we're going to deal with a few myths about STDs right now. There are many more, but one of them is that you can't get a sexually transmitted disease because you haven't gone all the way yet, meaning having um, cordis or penis entering vagina sex. This is false because you can get um, STDs passed with anal sex and oral sex. So um, just by having oral sex, kissing and fondling with fingers and then inserting fingers into orifices, you can pass along STDs or sexually transmitted diseases. Another myth is that um, concerning herpes in that as long as there's not an active outbreak of herpes blisters in the genital area that the partner cannot get herpes. This is also a myth in that the virus a lot of times is present at the skin surface prior to the actual outbreak of the blisters and therefore if you have sexual contact or intimate contact with the person who is having an imminent outbreak you can get exposed to the virus and should you have any breaks in the skin through which the virus can pass you can contract herpes and that is a non-curable viral infection that is sexually transmitted. Even if you use condoms when you are sexually active, the condoms do not cover the areas that most herpes infections are found, which are in the pubic area of both partners. And so even by wearing a condom, you are not necessarily protected from a herpes outbreak. The final myth is that you had an STD, you took most of the medicine given to you by the doctor, therefore you don't need to go back to the doctor and be rechecked to make sure you're cured or that the, the infection has been cured by a partial amount of the medication. This is false. We give the proper amount of medication and it should be taken completely and in the way in which it was ordered to completely rid you of the sexually transmitted disease. If you did not take the medicine completely or in the way it was prescribed, you need to contact your physician as soon as possible and get a second course.